lashes. Oh my god. If I blink too fast, your girl's gonna be up, up, and away, okay? Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And if you're new, I'm Yesenia. Welcome to the squad. Don't forget to subscribe before we get started so that way you don't miss any future uploads. I post food videos on here, fashion videos, makeup videos, hair videos, all kinds of stuff. We have lots of fun on this channel. So like I said, don't forget to subscribe before we get started. So today's a really exciting video because that didn't make any sense. So today's video is a really exciting video because I went to the outlets and I brought you guys along with me. Um, my dad stays going to the outlets and he stays getting all the deals and I was like, you know what? I need to get on my dad's level because he knows all about the outlets. He stays getting the sales, the deals, everything. And I'm like, okay girl, like I need to catch up to my dad. So I decided to head out to the Gilroy outlets and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get stuff, and then I'm gonna take my YouTube fam with me so that they can learn how to shop at the outlets too and get the deals. You know what I mean? You know, we're all about the deals up in here. Um, so yeah, that is what we did. I went to the Gilroy outlets and I was very satisfied with my purchases. So today uh, we're gonna be doing like a haul. I'm gonna take you guys with me to the outlet so you guys can kind of get a hang of it and I'm also gonna give you guys some tips and tricks on how to maximize your outlet shopping experience. So without further ado, let's get into right, it. Guys, just got to the Adidas store and there you see there's a sale so let's see what we can find. Right, you guys, so I'm in the sweatpants because you guys know I love me some sweatpants. And this right here is $39.97 and then the bottoms are $19.97 and they have an extra 40% off so that means your girl's taking this. <laughs> I'm obsessed with this print. I wish they had like a sweater to match with it because I feel like by itself it kind of doesn't do much. This is cute too but this is for kids and I don't know if it'll fit me. How much is it? $19.95 with 40% off. So what is that? Like $11, $13 or something? I wish they had pants for this. I'm kind of digging these. I kind of like the sole, like the spread sole, but I wish I had it in white. Did you know? <laughs> I want these for me, you guys, but they don't have any for women's. They remind me of my boo, Freddie Mercury. I'm obsessed with these right here and they're $30 with 40% off, but the gag is they only have large and extra large. <laughs> Porque, oh wait, are these on sale too? Girl, hold on. Oh, these are on sale from $90 though. Uh, yeah, not today. But maybe some of these, what do we think? Hmm. You know I love pastels and these are also on sale, but they only have like big sizes, unfortunately. Alright guys, so we just got to the Converse store and I see a 40% off sign, so hopefully we find some good stuff. God, so many pastels. I feel like I'm gonna have a heart attack. I need it all. Oh my god. How much is this? I really wish they had these in white. They're so cute. They have them in black, but I'm not a huge fan of like all black shoes. I'm gonna take these. 40 bucks. Love it. My eyes on these. I really like them, but I need to check how much they are. Everybody did the buy one get one half off. So you guys are doing 94. You guys are only spending 94. I know for three pairs of shoes. That's not bad. And they're hella cute. So. Damn, hella sales. Hella sales. So we got three pairs of shoes for 94 dollars. Um, and I'm living because they're hella cute. I really thought those uh, black ones were gonna be like. $70 and they were 40 and then it was buy one get one half off All right guys just got to Nike and I'm really excited to see what we can find in here because I actually have had my eye on some shoes So hopefully they're on sale here yeah. How cool are these like warache style shoes? Super warache inspired, I know they are. They're really cool. Guys, last stop of the day is Reebok. Hoping I find something good. My heart is broken. These are so cute and they're only $34, but they're too big for me. Look at the detail, they're so cute. You guys, I... 
never ask, like I never ask at the outlets if they have my size because I automatically assume that they don't have it because it's not out here. And guess what? I asked, or Michael asked, and they did have them. So it's my lucky day. And then them don't fit. These are the prices we're getting out here, dude. 34 bucks. Oh, those are 24. Need a four and a half. What size are those? Four. They're a little tight? Yeah. So he had four and a half, right? Yeah. Sweet. So 34 bucks. I'm really excited, you guys, that they did have those shoes because I was so bummed. They're so cute. I really like them. Always ask. Thank you, Michael, for coming to MK. Got some purchases. Michael also got two pairs of shoes for like 60 bucks or something, and then I got mine for 34. I'm so excited because I really thought they were not gonna have it in my size. All right, so now that you guys saw my little shopping experience, let me give you guys some pointers, some tips and tricks how to maximize your outlet shopping experience. All right, so tip, trick, hack. I don't know what we're gonna call it. Call it whatever you want. It's a tip, it's a trick, it's a hack. Number one is make sure that the stores that you are going to are actually outlet stores because I used to get got a lot. Like there's a lot of sneaky stores that like to go to the outlets and then they just like to like place themselves there and pretend like they're outlets because people are already gonna be shopping. And I feel like when you go into a mentality that you're going into an outlet, you're just kind of like, oh my God, everything's cheap and cheaper here and you're kind of like, mentally prepared for that and then they kind of get you because you think that you're getting a good deal at the outlet but it's not even an outlet so just be sure that it is an outlet for example uh the nike i don't think it's called an outlet i think it's a nike factory store um but there's like the reebok outlet there's like the adidas outlet so you can check the directory or you can check online um, and it'll tell you right there whether it's an outlet or not and if it doesn't have outlet behind it or in front of it um, Whatever, um, then it's probably not an outlet. So it's just a regular ass store I'm just saying prepare yourself because I've gone to a lot of stores where I'm like, yes, yes, yes I'm getting a deal and then it's like a regular store. It's not an outlet and while they do have sales and deals Just don't get it twisted. It's not an outlet. All right tip number two go early especially if you're gonna go on the weekends. Um, just because the weekends are usually the time where everybody's like out and about. So if you don't wanna catch like a busy store and you don't wanna catch like a messy store and you want to find like your sizes and everything, I would definitely recommend going early. Um, you shouldn't have an issue if you're going during the weekday just because during the weekday, everybody's kind of working, everybody's kind of busy. But on the weekends, you can expect there to be a lot of people. So definitely go early or just don't go on a weekend because it'll just be hard to like get sizes, to find good stuff. And I feel like I look like I'm gonna cry. I always look like I'm gonna cry. My facial expressions are just, I don't know. But anyways, um, yeah, if you wanna get some good, yeah, I mean, there's still gonna be deals, but there's just probably not going to be as much stuff. And there's just gonna be a lot of people. It's gonna be like messy. Usually it's pretty hectic on the weekends. So yeah, that's another one. Definitely try to go early if you're gonna go on the weekends or just stick to going on the weekends. All right, guys, so tip numero three is to make sure that you're checking everywhere for like your ideal product. Um, this would mainly apply if you're getting there at a time where there's a lot of people and it's already busy and you know that boxes have been moved around, you definitely wanna make sure that you're searching everywhere um, just because the shoe that you might have really wanted that they don't have in your size might actually be kid sitting in the kids section because somebody took it out and put it there. But you can avoid this kind of altogether by just getting there either early um, or getting there when there's like not a lot of people just because it'll be a lot easier to find the stuff that you need. Um, but if you are there when there's a lot of people, it's busy, you definitely want to make sure that you like scope everything out. Um, another thing, going to the outlets can be quite of a process if you want to find deals just because you definitely have to like look. Um, it's not going to be like a regular store where you just kind of like go in and it's like bam, like all the shoes. So usually like at Nike or even at Adidas, the sales section is like a bunch of random shoes and then they just have like the prices. Um, and then usually there's like an extra 40% off or like an extra percentage off, which is a really good deal. Um, and you guys will see once I tell you guys about like my haul, um, like the 
percentages that I got off, like the additional sales that they were on top of the shoots already being really expensive. Um, so yeah, I feel like I went from number three to like a whole nother thing. But yeah, make sure that you're like scoping everything out so that you don't um, miss finding something good. Tip numero four. Always ask for your size, okay? And this is something that I just barely learned this time because I'm sure that you guys saw. Um, Michael and I actually found these shoes that I really liked at Reebok and they were like $34 or something. And unfortunately, they didn't have my size and I was just like super sad and I was like, ugh, this sucks, they don't have my size. And then Michael asked the guy and was like, do you guys have this size? Um, and he was like, um, I'm pretty sure we don't, but I'm gonna go check. So I went to go check and and they did have my size and that's never happened before but honestly it's worth trying every time I know that usually when you go to like a store and you ask do you have any they're usually like no everything that we have out here is everything we have and so I just kind of automatically assumed that that was the case everywhere but had Michael not asked I wouldn't have got these shoes so definitely ask 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 even if it's busy even if you already know that they're gonna say no, just try. The worst it can say is no, we don't have any, you know what I mean? Um, and then back to my other point is definitely try to go when it's not busy because I feel like employees are a lot more likely to be like nice about it and try to be helpful as opposed to like when it's a madhouse and everybody's just kind of like losing their shit and they're just kind of like, no, we don't have it in the back and they don't even go check, you know what I mean? So definitely getting there early or going when there's not a lot of people very important i'm really trying to figure out if i forgot anything because i'm gonna when i edit this video i'm gonna be so mad if i forgot something but i don't think so i try to write everything down while i was out at the outlet so hopefully i got everything if i did miss anything just make sure that you guys check my description box or my comments i will pin a comment and let you guys know if i forgot anything but if you guys enjoy this video i will definitely be making more because Based on the finds that I found, <laughs> I will definitely be heading out to the outlets a lot more often and I'm actually, hopefully you guys like this video because I'm already planning on going to several other outlets and kind of like compare and obviously everywhere you go it's going to be different and you're not always going to find deals or you're not always going to find deals in your sizes and stuff but um, it's definitely one of those things that sometimes you hit it, sometimes you don't. Um, but I really hope that you guys enjoy it because your girl's all up for shopping, okay? All right guys so let's get into the haul first things first I picked this up at the Adidas outlet and I actually really really like it because I also got it as a set so I got the pants with it too this right here is originally $75 um, but it had the little price tag of $39.97 um, and then they had an extra 40% off store-wide um, so then I got it for $23.98 okay so we went from $75 to $40 to $20 okay. um, and then the pants these right here are originally did I have the price? I don't think I have the price on here. Um, I took off the tags, but these were also, let me see, sorry, I'm like, okay, so these were actually um, $25. So they ended up being, um, so it's a track pants to these, and then the bottom just kind of goes down. Does this have a zipper? Oh yeah, it has a zipper. So it's like a soccer track suit, um, and these are my absolute favorite because they're just so easy to just throw on. You just do any kind of hair, you can just do your makeup and throw it on and you don't have to be finding like matching or whatever. It's comfortable, it's sporty, it's cute, it's trendy, it's in, and it's inexpensive, okay? Um, yeah, so then I ended up getting these right here for, I don't know what the original price is, but then they were tagged as $19.97 and I ended up getting them for $11.98 with the 40% off. So, um, you know, obviously they're like brand new. They have the tags and everything, so don't get it twisted. Like the outlets is not like a thrift store or anything. Like it's like a legit store. Um, so yeah, and then I got a similar um, set for the exact same prices. Um, and this is originally $45. Um, and then it was on sale for 40 and then it was an extra 40% off, which is this one right here. And as you can tell, the neck on here is different. So I'm really excited that I was able to cop two different um, like sets. They just look different. Um, so this one right here is black because we obviously need like a black set. And this is from the kids section. So I'm just saying, this one right here I believe is women's, but the black one is from the kids section. So I don't think I included this tip, but definitely check everywhere. Sweatpants. 
that go in here, which were also, um, these are originally 32. They were on sale for 20. I ended up getting them for $11.98. Um, so they just look like this. Um, and these have obviously, they have the Adidas sign over here. And these are different because the bottoms actually have like this right here. It does kind of have like a cuff on it. So it will fit differently. So I'm really excited because I was able to catch, to catch, I was able to, I was gonna say cop. Um, I was able to get two different like full sets um, for a total of like $80. So that's pretty cool if I so say, if I do say so myself because this itself is $75. So for the price of a one sweater, I got two sets um, and then I got this other one that I actually wasn't able to find the top four so that's another thing is sometimes you will not find a matching set and if you do it might not be the same size so it's just kind of based on luck um, and how early you go um, but this one right here uh, is 24 was $24 and I also got it for really inexpensive and what I really like about this one is the color I really really like the color and I figured I could just wear this maybe with like a white crop top or maybe with a nice white bodysuit um, and this one has the the bottom with the zipper also so I feel like this would just be really cute to just throw on honestly the sweatpant life is just it's a thing man I like it and it has like these little details on the back of it which I like just like these little seams things so um so yeah I got quite a few stuff a few things okay so this right here is actually my dad's he's gonna be like when he watches this he's gonna be like what the heck then I pulled it out of his closet just because I wanted to show you guys like one of the things that he found how cute is this like it's a really nice like burnt orange color and it's like the complete set and each one was $20 but they were an extra 40% off. So he pretty much got this entire set for like $25. And it's so cute. When he showed up with it, I was so jealous because I was like, what, are you serious? They didn't have one for me. Um, but they didn't have one that fit me, but him and my mom actually got themselves a matching set. So there was enough of these um, for them to both get one. Unfortunately, there wasn't one that fit me, okay? It's broken, but um, but I'm glad that I at least found these. Okay, but yes, like how cute is this? I'm obsessed with the color. When he showed it to me, I was like, oh my, this is what inspired me to go to the outlets, okay? Because I was like, oh my God, what if I can find myself something like this? And I didn't find myself this color, but I am very happy with the purchases that I did find, the purchases that I did find. All right, guys, so I didn't get any shoes at the Adidas store, but then we went to the Puma store and they had buy one, get one 50% off of all the shoes, even the sale. Um, and I picked up these right here, which I actually really, really like. They're all white. Um, and I really like the detailing that they have. They're that mesh shoe and I really like that because I kind of like this like pointy style that they have going on. Um, so these are the Insurge Mesh Junior. Well, because I think it's a junior shoe. Um, but yeah, it's like all white and it has some gray on it. Um, and these are usually $65, I believe. I looked online and they're usually 65, but they were on sale for 40, and then they were buy one, get one 50%. All right guys, so the next shoes that I'm about to show you guys are these right here that are on the Puma website for $90. Um, and I actually got them for 40, because that's the price that they were. They were on sale at the, at the outlet for $40, and then on top of it, it was buy one, get one half off. So I was able to get these. I really like the detailing. I love that it kind of has that like Tiffany blue color, because I just feel like it just kind of switches it up. It's different, it's pretty. Like I like the detail that it has in the back. And I also really, really like the detail that it has on the actual shoe like this like mesh part just kind of has these like little like indent things and also like on the sole I like the um the detailing that it has uh these are the ones that I believe Selena Gomez was promoting um because Roxette and I went to this like Puma event and it was a Puma Defy event so I'm pretty sure it was for these and it was a few months back um but I am really excited that I didn't have to pay $90 for them so all right guys, so these right here I found on the Reebok website for $91. Um, so it's those right there. I mean, they are kind of different. These uh, 
do can you see it is it on there i think it's on there 91 dollars. it says it's originally 130 um and then they're on sale for 91 on the website these the ones that i i'm showing you guys are all white and these that i have right here are not all white so i'm pretty sure um there's like a price difference but i wasn't able to find these exact ones um but it's these right here they are all white they do have like a black and pink sole um in the front and in the back as you guys can see like on the bottom part of it um and then i love 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 the detail in the back it's just kind of like fun it's pink it's like watercolor um it kind of gives me like 90s vibes because of the colors and just the um the pattern that it has on here and i love that it says reebok and clear um and i really just like the little side details over here i like that it kind of has that like open thing it kind of reminds me of the new adidas falcon shoes because you know how those have like the little like hole or whatever um and i do like that you also don't have to tie the laces because it's like a stretchy lace and it's just kind of like a bandage front if you would um and I actually picked these up for $34. Um, they were originally at the store $59.97, but they were on sale. Um, so they were on sale for $59.97, and then there was another sale which made them down to $34. Um, okay, so that is it for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure that you guys like it if you did, so that way I know to keep these kinds of videos coming for you guys. Also, please comment down below which one of these items was your favorite. If you would have gone shopping with me, which one of these would you have picked up? Let me know, I'm curious, I wanna know. What do you have gone for the sneakers? What do you have gone for the track suits? What's your style? Let me know. Don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you guys next time.